Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to do a couple of quick shout outs and then show you around this reef with the actinics on. Um, I've got Blah1, which is B L A W W W W 1. 1, sorry, just lost my voice there for a sec. <coughs> um, the next one is Alcis Animals, which is A L C E S Animals. Um, what else do we got going on here? We got Nick's Aquatics. Mr. Mom Tanks. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Thank you, Mr. Mom. And that's it for my new subs. Really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you, Mr. Mom, for checking that out. Um, all right, guys, this is my reef tank, what's going on. You can see that there's still a little bit of hair algae going on. Not crazy like it was. Doing way better. There's my wild looking. Uh, oh wow, see, look at I forgot the name of the little guy. But that's what he looks like under the lighting. Once I adjust the camera to show you how it looks under the actinics, that's what you get. So I don't know if you see that, but that's just unbelievable how this looks. Beautiful. Look at that crazy thing. So yeah, he's looking pretty badass. Super awesome. And then the Aiken, of course. You can't mistake my Aiken. My Aiken is wicked. He's closing up to where his tentacles are popping out at the moment because the actinics did come on. Normally he's much fluffier looking than that. But uh, you can see just what he looks like. Um... Then down here you got my red mushrooms chilling out down here on the sand. And then I've got a blue mushroom that's on the back side over there. You can't really see him. He's right there. And then my red mushroom. Let me see if I can go around the corner and catch them. Maybe. Mm. No, not going to happen. Where is he? Yeah, see, you can see the red mushroom down there and then the blue one above him. And then there's a little blue one right next to this one. Pretty tough to see it. But uh, that's that. And I've got these zoos over here. Normally they look brown under the normal lighting. As you can see my camera shows you exactly how it looks under the low lighting. Alright, so that's that. And then I'm finding out this might actually from Keyshawn, I think it was. So this might actually be a Hollywood stunner instead of an alien eye. So maybe somebody can elaborate on that. I was always told it was an alien eye, alien eye chalice when I got it at the swap meet. They gave it to me for free. So whatever the case may be, that's that guy. Um, there's my green star polyps growing like a weed. That started out as a little plug, like right, yeah, see that plug? And since November, this is what it's been doing. All right, and then over here, you get the digilata. And the only reason I know these names is because my buddy Andrew has helped me out with these distinguish exactly what they are I'm not really sure what that is on the edge of that one yeah it wants to keep focusing in now let me see if I can get it right there see it I'm not sure what that is I don't know if that's one of them stupid fermited snails they got on there or what but anyways that's him Looking pretty badass. So I can just get in it on him a little more. Oh, had him. But yeah, he's looking pretty wicked. And then over here is my candy cane. Let's see if I can get him in there. I've got him up high. Most people seem to have him down low. But mine doesn't seem to like being down low, so I... I put him up here. And then over here, you got my Zeus. 
No, that was a clown. <laughs> There's my zoos. Normally the tentacles on the outside are a green when you look at them. And the inner side is yellow. I mean, a uh, red like you see there. But the tentacles are actually under the true lighting that it's supposed to be under. It's like a yellow. These are eagle eyes. Look at the extensions on these tentacles. Or skirts, as some people call them. Yeah, that is one healthy, happy zoo for sure. And my clown. <laughs> And then down here you've got my torch, which he's closing up because it's nighttime. But he's looking pretty awesome. He usually extends out pretty cool when he is doing it. And then also, there's my pulsing Xenia. And that'll stop pulsing in about another hour probably. And then slowly suck itself in and go to sleep for the most part. I also noticed that I have one that decided to pop up out of nowhere on my rock. Let me see if I can find this little guy. Where did he go? Look at this. I have no idea why he's up there or how he got up there. But he's up there all by himself. And I have no clue why. But... Yeah, there he is, all by him, he's lonesome. I'm noticing this little red dot right there, I don't know what that is. Um, the other uh, polyps that I had, you can see they clearly just flat out died. I never took the plug out yet, but that sucks. And then also, this guy, oh, right here, the same thing. I don't know if that was a leather coral or what it was. But it just bleached white, and then the same thing with it, so not really sure what happened on that. But other than that, everything else is looking good. That was actually a freebie as well, and so was that guy over there. So I didn't lose anything on it other than the fact that I thought they were pretty cool. You gotta love this Aiken. He is sick, man. He is one badass looking Aiken. And then there's the uh, skunk. A lot of people, I guess, call him cleaner shrimps, but he's a skunk. He don't really. I mean, he does clean as far as picking food off the substrate and what have you, but. His main goal in life is he likes to be fed. <laughs> so, and then my mandarin is hiding right back in there. He's not really sure what he's up to, but uh, he just got a whole load of copepods today. So he's going to be super happy, I'm sure, for quite a while. And here's my Royal Grandma with the two clowns. Like I said, my Royal Grandma is just really cool to my clowns. He doesn't react badly whatsoever to the clowns. A lot of people say that they're very aggressive. This Royal here, I swear, he thinks he's a uh, clownfish. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, I don't scrape the glass off the back. That's the... Uh, Coraline growing like mad in there. I probably should, but I haven't gotten around to it. But you can see Coraline is growing pretty much everywhere I go. And then also this stupid green bubble stuff, which is a pain in the butt, but it's growing as well. So it's like fighting one thing and fighting another. But I'll get it. Just take a little time. But uh, yeah, there you have it. It's looking a lot better. A little at a time is all. So, all right, guys. With that, oh wait, here's my fire shrimp. He wanted to come out and say hi. So we'll get him out of here before he disappears. There he goes. <laughs> all right. With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's how it looks 
under its true lighting which is pretty awesome and I hope you enjoyed. Alright guys with that, later.